so space in here get the nail up and then go from the top and rip it out saving a lot of time uh, like part of living out here though is i'm not used to birds of prey attacking my dogs you know like sometimes i'll just be working and there'll just be a big ass bird and i'm like you might kill my dog <laughs> like what is this this is a great lifestyle but this is different I don't know. So the best thing to do is to knock it up nail by nail and target it nail by nail. So you go here, I'm gonna rip that one out underneath that pry bar. And generally I will lift oops, let me get down a little bit. I'll lift right here and I'll spot those nails from under here and then I'll lift it up. Honestly I'm just I'm overworking hard, dude, but it's cool seeing your body grow, but I'm so over working hard, man, like, no, that's, I'm not, I'm overworking hard for no reason, I'm, eventually your body is like, I can't work hard anymore, so, now I'm just trying to find all the little shortcuts, one of the little shortcuts is finding the nails, pulling it out, and then you remove the anchor points, and then you got an easy pull, and I don't know why I didn't think of that sooner, but it makes a lot of sense, dude. Like, if anyone's building a Hogan, which I doubt they are, because everyone's, I don't know. I don't know, everyone's doing their own thing, and like, if you ever build a Hogan, this is what you should do. We should build more Hogans in this world. That'd be kind of cool. Sustainable living. Yeah. So, I've discovered the secret. To removing these panels and it's the dumbest thing ever but you have to focus on the anchor points you have to identify where the nail is at and then you gotta yank out that nail and then you don't have to go through all this banging and getting extra strong for to be like the hulk like we're getting a little bit smarter this time so yeah it's working out okay so same situation as earlier. We have two two by fours undone, so I'm just gonna kinda knock it until I get a few of the nails, sink nails pulled up a little bit, and then I can just go around and yank those up with a hammer. So we're doing that. So I need to grab a two by four. I need to start pushing away. I need to get gas. You need to get water. Oh man, being out here is hard sometimes, dude. It's like sometimes I just gotta remember we're out here to experience being out here. You know, to we're privileged to be out here. And we're struggling <laughs> and it's hard but you have to understand how people are struggling in order to help them and so we're going to put ourselves in a position where we don't have running water we don't have electricity we don't have much and it's hard because we're not in a position where we shouldn't have like any like everyone's like why are you there why are, why are you guys out here and it's like we're here to see what people need and we're here to help them get that. And sometimes it's hard because when I used to work for some tribe, these kids would always be like, you ain't about it, You're like you ain't about it. And it's like, I just wanna be about it. You know, like I wanna feel what it feels like to be on the Navajo Nation. And it's, you see like, Dude, the government doesn't help you out here. Like, everything takes forever. Like, we have a business that is a legit business, and still, it's like, everyone just wants credit. And it's like, how are we supposed to get things done if everyone just wants credit? Like, everyone, like, we have all these people who talk about culture and respecting your elders, and they, no offense to Europeans, but they act like a bunch of white people, and they push their weight around and nothing gets done and no funds are ever distributed and like 
we don't need the funds, but all these people around need all these funds because they're living like this, dude. And the difference is, like, we could leave. Like, Samantha and I don't have to be here. And everyone else has to be here. And it's like, dude, I don't want to leave without helping people, but, like, how are you supposed to help people? Like, nothing out here, dude. Like, it's so hard sometimes. And it's like, we, we're starting with hard and we're trying to make it better and then we can help our people because we can say we're about it we showed up dude like all these kids are struggling and they just think this is normal like this is normal living dude like being here without power is just so mentally fatiguing sometimes like it's cool getting big and strong and like the stress being stressed but it's like it shouldn't be this hard like like there's a place here for practicing culture but also like appreciating development because like Diné culture is built on like they did that cool so we're gonna do that now and they did that cool so we're gonna do that now and it's like why are we stuck trying to put our name on everything like we're 12 dude like we're not Donald Trump, dude, we don't need Trump Tower. We don't need a bunch of fucking dumb shit. Like, we just need homes, and we need running water, and we need power, and we need people who are willing to do that, and people who are willing to work hard. And if people are willing to work hard, they should be allowed to work hard, and they should be allowed to fund their neighbors and help their neighbors. And it's like, if you're capable, help, dude. But, like, it's hard when everyone's just trying to take and take and take, and you're being told just go back to taking and it's like dude I don't want it taken anymore but I also don't want everything taken from me you know but whatever back back to this so I got most of it undone got this one last piece to get in the tar but I am going to climb on the roof this time because there's a solar panel outside that I don't really want to throw this on so I'm gonna to have to be a little more delicate so I'm gonna climb on the roof and then cut here here Throw this off, get this panel shaped, and then we'll have another panel done. So now that I'm on top of the roof, this feels really stupid. So I'm going to go back on the inside and cut it from the bottom because I don't want to be falling off the roof. And Samantha got the report done. So we officially did our first non-profit report. Kind of cool. Crazy. Scary, but... Okay, so I took off two panels, um, got two pieces of plywood. They're heavy, but they're, I don't know, I got it up there. So I need to climb on top, measure it off, uh, doing it alone. It's a lot harder, but we're getting it done. Samantha's just a lot of help, honestly, but she's doing a lot of work in there, so we gotta do this. So joint to joint, I'm gonna put this down because I don't want to fall, but I'm going up there. So I got special help from Samantha. And I'm climbing up and lining up the sides. So eight feet by eight feet. I'm gonna 